What's up guys, welcome to your 10th Java tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be getting to the actual good stuff in Java. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys what if statement is and how to use it to make a decision. There's going to be a lot going on in this tutorial, so pay attention. It's going to be sweet. Um, what an if statement is, is pretty much how your computer makes decisions. You're going to give it a test, such as, um, am I a boy or am I a girl? And your computer looks at this, and if it says you're a boy, it does one block of code. But if it says you're a girl, it does another block of code. For example, you could build a program to, if you're a boy, take you to a boy website. But if you're a girl, take you to a girl website or something like that. So what we need to do here is build an if statement. And to do that, go ahead and write if. Now, after that, you have something in parentheses. Now, what in, is in your parentheses is called the condition. But what the condition actually means, condition is just like the technical term. What it is, is actually a test. Whatever you want to test, you're going to have two choices for now. Say we have a variable called, um, let's just name it test. And let's make it int, int test is equal to six. So now we have a variable that we can test. So let's go ahead and test this. And let's go ahead and say if test is equal to nine. And this brings me to another point. Your um, testing operators. There are, um, let's see, probably six different ways off the top of my head that you can test. The first thing you can do is to see if something is exactly equal to something else. So this means if 6 is exactly equal to 9, remember you don't use one equal sign because when you use one equal sign, that means you're assigning it to value. When you're testing it, you use 2 because you don't want test to equal 9, you just want to test if it is equal to 9. So that test, if the variable called test is equal to the value 9. If you want to test if it's not equal, you need um, explanation point equal sign and this means not equal. And of course, as expected, you got your less than signs. Is six less than nine? Is six greater than nine? Is six less than or equal to nine? Or is six greater or equal to nine? And those are all self-explanatory. I'm not gonna um, show you guys exactly what those mean. But for now, I'm gonna use the most basic one. And what we're gonna be testing right now is if the variable called test is exactly equal to nine, which it isn't. Now, I told you guys that you have a test and this test can either go it is or it isn't and that's where your computer makes a decision if it is then after your if statement you have something called um, a statement your first statement and this is also called the body now your first one is you need to tell your computer what it's going to do if the test is true if test is equal to nine then we want you to system dot out dot print line um that's right yes just write something simple now the first thing you do is tell your computer what to do if test is equal to nine and this is what it does if it is equal to nine but as you can see test isn't equal to nine so what do we want to do now well if that isn't true then we give you one more option and that's the else and let's just go ahead and copy this copy and paste where are you and let's go ahead and write this is else so let me run this for you guys and I'll show you guys what happens press ok and our final result is this is else so let me show you guys uh, clear things up how if statement works how if statement works is you write if and then you have a variable so it pretty much is the exact same thing as saying alright if test is equal to 9 I want you to print yes but if it's not equal to 9 I want you to print this is else so we're gonna have the test one thing if the test is positive have this else if the test is negative have this but say we had something else like if test was less than 9 which is true well, since this test is true, it's going to do the first option and not the second option. Again, it can't do both of them. It can only do one or the other. So let's go ahead and run this, and it's going to say this time, yes. 
So that is how you can use um, different testing operators such as equals equals, um, uh, less than, greater than, less than, equal to. And that's how you use a simple if statement to give your computer two choices. Again, it's just like saying if this test is true, do this first thing. Else, do the second thing. And don't forget to use your curly braces to do the body of the first thing and then your else statement and then your curly braces to do the body of your second choice and I'll be clearing oh excuse me I'll be clearing this up for you in the next couple of tutorials but I hope this is pretty self explanatory um, just play around with it for now it's the best thing to do to learn so just copy this um, throw in some new variables and soon enough you'll get the hang of it so uh, thank you guys for watching that's the basic if statement how to tell your computer to make a simple decision so again thank you guys for watching make sure to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to check out my next java tutorial so i will see you then